Hi, I'm Sherry. Welcome to my groom shop. Today at three o'clock, I have a Yorkie that's getting groomed. So I'm starting off with a bath and conditioner and blow dry, and then I'm going to start the haircut. He's a very good dog, but his mother says he does not like the bath and he is very bad for his bath at home. But as you can clearly see, they're different <laughs> for the groomer. All right, smile for the camera. All right, I'm gonna rinse him off. He's got conditioner on now. I just cleaned up my mess in the tub and I just want to show you that I'm making him uh what, is, what do I call it a uh, neck scrunchie I have this tube here because I sew so I have a sewing machine here I have a dog bed in the shop that's open on Sundays where I make doggy neckwear so while he's back there I got a little fan on him just to dry his face right now I'm making him this scrunchie for his neck and it's a tube and I'm cutting this piece of elastic which I already measured his neck there it is I I drew a little spot on here that's where I need to cut so he's going to have elastic scrunchy now a lot of times I make them to slide over the collar these don't slide over the collar so I got to get my safety pin hook it to the elastic so I have something to hold on to and I'm going to slide it through. Got to make sure I hold the other end of the elastic or it's going to get lost inside this tube. There we go. Now, pull that out I left the ends open if you know how to make a scrunchie it's basically the same as a human scrunchie except it's a little bit bigger I just measured the neck so I'm gonna go next door and I'm going to use my sewing machine to tie this together or I should say to sew this together right here and I'm gonna sew the ends together and we're gonna get started blow drying him and finishing his haircut I'm gonna finish blow drying this guy Turn him around. Hold on, let me get the dryer. So he doesn't have to be completely dry or brushed out because it's all coming off. Hey, come on out to the table. And some people might be wondering why I would shave this dog down with a tin blade. And there's one really good reason. Because his mother asked me to. <laughs> and she pays, she pays my bills. So there's that. All right. I'm going to get my tin blade out and start. Just going to spray off this tin blade, disinfect it real quick, wipe it off with a cotton ball. Yorkies are so easy. I always say that, but if I could do Yorkies all day and nothing else, I would be very happy. Get my mask on so I don't breathe in all this hair, and let's get started. I got him. I'm going to use this toothbrush. I use it just to keep the hair from jamming up. Because if the hair is a little bit damp, it just gets uh, jammed up in the blade. 
He's going to get a number 10 on his body and a 4 on his head. You clean this blade out, jam it up. You can feel it. It starts to pull through. It doesn't go through easy when the hair gets jammed up in there. Going to shave out the pads of his feet with a 30 blade. Yorkies grow hair in the pads of their feet, between their toes, and in their ears. Everything grows hair in the corner of their eyes. They're high maintenance. Not as high maintenance as a golden doodle, though. Or a standard poodle. That's the highest of the high maintenance. Shape all this out so his feet stay clean. I'm done with his body and now I'm moving around. I got this foot left right here, so I'm going to cut his nails and dremel them because his mother is older and when you get older your skin gets thin so if this dog gets his nails cut and then goes home he will rip her skin open scratching her so i cut them and then i dremel them yep for dew claws he's got a dew claw We'll come underneath, cut that, get my Dremel, and just sand down his nails. As you can see, he's used to it. He doesn't mind. I'm going to go ahead and trim this foot up before I dremel it because if you try to dremel a foot with hair, the dremel will suck the hair up and then uh, sand down their foot. That's never good. So we got to make sure all the hair is trimmed short before we dremel the nails. His body is done, his nails are nice and short, and I'm going to finish shaving his neck with the tin blade. The tops of his ears, I'm shaving with a tin, and then he's getting a number seven on his head. And just to trimmed up the nice, a nice round face.
got a little hair hanging down on his belly here. I'm going to get off. It's all done in a tin blade. Let's pull his skin tight so he doesn't have any clumps of hair pop out later. Number seven blade on his head and the bottoms of his ears. Taking this seven blade straight down the sides of his face. Combing his brows forward and just trimming straight across. I'm going to take my tin blade and just shape out the corners of his eyes, right? Yorkies grow hair in their ears, so that has to be pulled out at the groomers. And this guy just has a little bit, so I'm going to pour some ear powder on his hair. It helps grip and just pull this out just a little bit. a little bit blow that powder out I don't want to shove it down inside all right we'll clean the other side and then wipe it out with the ear cleaner and a cotton ball what a great dog he is he is ready to go I'm gonna spray on some conditioner wipe him down with the baby wipe Now his mother wants a seven-week appointment, so I'm going to make her two seven-week appointments because I'm full. I hardly have anything left this year to the end of the year. There's a couple left here and there, so I'm going to make her two just to make sure she can get in next time. All right. Nice and clean. And his little, what is it, a neck scrunchie? Is ready to go. I hope it fits. I measured it around his neck. Look how cute that is. It's just elastic, it's stretchy, so it's super comfortable and it fits perfect. How cute is that? <laughs> okay, nice and short. Can you pick your head up, please? We're going to call his mother and let her know that he is ready to go home. Thanks for watching.